Buongiorno everyone. So I am back in my hometown in Italy after nine months of being in the United States for college. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what my experience in college was like. So I really hope you enjoy. And if you're an international student like me and want to know more information regarding how to get to America and what the process is like, you can definitely comment down below any questions and I will try to answer them as much as I can. So this is my freshman year of college as an international student and I hope you enjoy. To get to the United States, I left from Roma Fiumicino with an F1 student visa and I had to say bye to my dad. Ciao, papa. <laughs> I had to take four flights to get to Wausau, Wisconsin to pick up my stuff from my host family from last year. The flight from Italy to America is about eight and a half hours long, so there's always two meals in order to get through the flight. Once I arrived in Wisconsin, I met with two of my friends from high school, Julia and Kendall. After stopping by Wisconsin, we headed to St. Paul, Minnesota, where my college is located, and we moved all my stuff in my dorm. This is the residence hall that I lived in, which was very modern and new, built in 2020. And here is my room. The door decks were very cute with animals, and we had key cards to enter our room and everywhere, even the bathroom. So this is my room before I organized everything. So there's the closet and there is my bed. After a couple hours, I finished putting all my clothes in the walk-in closet. And here's a window, which I really liked because it brought in a lot of light and I could see a lot of green. And I was also able to see many sunrises like these. And now I wanted to show you a little bit of the beautiful campus I lived on. There is the Anderson Student Center and there's the chapel. I really liked the campus because it wasn't too big and it wasn't too small. And it had a lot of green with trees and grass you can sit on. Here is the football field, which my school is planning to expand actually. And on this football field, they did many of the welcome week activities and of course played football games. That's the University of St. Thomas student alumni mentoring program. And now I'll show you what welcome week was like. I met a lot of people and ate good food and did many activities that were fun, but maybe sometimes a little too much and overwhelming. But overall, it was a fun week. During Welcome Week, the university even took us to the Mall of America and rented out the whole Nickelodeon world for us. Mm -hmm. 
Towards the end of Welcome Week, we did a traditional march through the St. Thomas Arches, and we were welcomed by the university's a cappella group. All the international students were able to carry their own flag across the arches, so I carried the Italian flag. Welcome week classes of course started so here's a list of all the classes I took first and second semester so my university does classes that are usually four credits which is a whole semester long and two credits which is half a semester long so my first semester I took five classes in total two two credit classes plus choir and my second semester I took four classes four four credit classes plus choir so both semesters were a little bit challenging, even though in this video I'm showing a lot of the fun side of college, but I ended up with all A's, so I'm very happy of my hard work. So I hope you're still enjoying the video and let's continue. I couldn't find many videos from my fall semester, but here is my choir director making some pancakes on our day off. I was also able to go to the Twins baseball game offered by the university, and I went to a couple of retreats that were very fun as well. After fall came winter and Minnesota winters are very cold and long, usually lasting from five to six months and it usually snows a lot. Winter felt very long, but I actually liked the cold because it kind of motivates you to study instead of being outside. Though sometimes walking to class was a little bit challenging because of the snow. During the school year, I picked up three different jobs. I know maybe that sounds a lot, but I wanted to get as many hours as I could. As an international student, you can get a maximum of 20 hours per week. If you're American, you can get 40 hours per week. One of my jobs was to work at the concession stand at basketball, baseball, softball games, so any sports event. And another job was to work at the dining hall, and my third job was to do laundry for the athletes. During the school year, I also visited the Minneapolis Institute of Art. I wanted to see a Van Gogh painting, but it was closed off to the public, but all of the art was still very beautiful. Before spring break, my friends and I went to go get manicures and pedicures just for fun, even though I stayed on campus and was able to work 40 hours because it was a vacation time. I also wanted to mention that I ate at the dining halls on campus because I was required to get a meal plan as a freshman and I actually really enjoyed it. I could get any food at any time I wanted. During the year, I also enjoyed doing some extracurricular activity that were faith-based and I also like to do some crafts like this cup that I made um, with a quote from Taylor Swift, welcome to New York.
And at the end of the year, the university organized Tommy Fest, where、uh, there was free food and we made marshmallows, and even three bands came to play. This is Yam House, and their songs were actually very good. Then came spring, and campus was beautiful with many flowers and a lot of green. I also wanted to mention that all throughout the year, I was involved in some clubs, some business clubs, and I enjoyed playing intramural volleyball and even intramural spike ball. And so that was the end of my year. I had a great time at the University of St. Thomas for my freshman year, and I'm very excited to go back next year. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and like it and subscribe and ciao!